What is up, y'all? Okay. This is day one again. I failed. I failed 75 hard. Um, it was brought to my attention that you can't do your two workouts combined, so you can't do one 90-minute workout, basically. And that's what I did last, or that's what I did on Sunday. So today's Wednesday. Luckily, I was only on day five, so not the worst thing in the world. Also, like, it's a lifestyle. I, as weird as it sounds, I'm kind of excited that I'm starting over. I downloaded the app. There's a 75 hard app. So I'm actually going to start keeping track of everything that I'm doing. But today should be a good day, even though I did fail. It's a learning experience, and we're going to hang out with my brother. I get to meet my nephew for the very first time baby Kai Jackson, and it's just going to be a good productive day, I already know. I'm about to knock out a 45-minute bike ride, I'm going to journal, and uh, that's how you start the day off. Let's get it, y'all. Good morning, boo. <laughs> Teddy, I just got back. 40, let's see if there's some. Where have you been? Huh? Where have you been? I woke you didn't up. Say goodbye to me. You didn't I woke up. Give me a kiss. You didn't give me a hug. I'm sorry. Where have you been? Oh. Are you okay? I'm all over the place. Okay. Oh. I called up. I was happy to see you. I called up. I called up. Yeah, you love me, Teddy. Hug. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing focused. All right, 46, okay. Okay, this is the morning ride, 9.55 miles, 46 minutes. Let's go. I just got Strava, by the way, because I will be using this from now on to, whoa, whoa there, to track my rides in the morning and to also track my workouts in the evening. Holy. That was a great workout. Got my journaling done. Day one. And this is day one of 75 hard. Again. Hey. Hey, stop barking. Teddy, don't bark at me. Yo, bye bye. All right, I need to drink some water. As I'm now cooled down from the ride, there was one thing I posted on my Instagram about it, but as I was listening to my motivational shit like I do, which is super dope, because on the bike ride, sometimes my mind just wanders. And it's actually hard for me to like listen to an audiobook because I'm like thinking about what's going on in my environment and all this stuff. But when I just have fucking like ET Eric Thomas or like these motivational compilations that are like an hour long playing in the background, it's cool because I'm I, I feel like I'm just taking it in without having to necessarily pay attention. But I'll catch these random like nuggets. And one thing that I just wanted to share is this, this, I like when I heard it, I was like, it's so true. If you're someone out there struggling with health, wellness, fitness, maybe you're not in great shape. You're not eating right. You're not taking care of your mental and your spirit by you're not journaling or meditating or doing those things, right? It makes life hard and you may not feel it now. I think a lot of people that the, the bad part is a lot of people, you might not be dealing with the consequences of those actions today, but unfortunately, five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, yeah, we might be 40, 50, 60 at, at that point, but you might be dealing with the consequences then. So basically the, the quote is this, when you're not taking care of, when you're not eating right, taking care of being physically active, getting you know stuff that's good for your health, cardiovascular stuff, when you're not taking care of your spirit, your mind, stress, mental, it makes life hard. It makes life hard today. Maybe it makes life hard because of how you feel or think about yourself, or maybe it doesn't today, but it's gonna make life hard in the future. The other end of that, when you do eat really well and try to eat healthy, when you're physically active daily, getting in your steps, when you're, you force yourself to meditate or journal you're reading, you're focused on, on stress relieving stuff. You're doing all these things 
that you see influencers and fucking everywhere on the internet people doing and pushing on you, that's also hard. I'm doing the 75 hard challenge and it's hard. Both lifestyles are hard. And it's really on us, what hard do you want? And when you think about it in that aspect, it's like, of, co of course I want the hard that is actually bettering me. It's like it's hard, it's challenging, but it's forcing growth versus the other form of hard, which is like darkness, depression, ending up in the hospital, dealing with pains, dealing with issues internally, stomach issues, heart issues, lung issues, not feeling confident, not loving ourselves, like depression, fear, all those things come from that other path. So anyways, again, I'm never going to say, you know, I'm not David Goggins. I'm not going to say go out and fucking stop being a bitch and run and run a hundred miles a day, but do some hard things that your future self will thank you for. That is it. All right. I'm going to get ready and Michelle and I are going to run some errands. Uh, okay. Where is it? Uh, I know it's on. All right, you guys, so you're talking to the stash from now on. No, I'm just kidding. But, all right, this is uh, where we're at right now. So I bought this, this hat to support. This isn't like a sponsored, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but. Our favorite eggs come this from is, this place. So, yeah, we at discovered. farmer's market. Exactly. Exactly. We discovered them at the farmer's market and their shit is just so, you could just tell it's fresh. So it's a farm and these people have their own farm where they do their eggs, meat, cows, veggies, and they allow you to go visit the farm, which is like super trans, right? Isn't that a thing? I don't know. And they don't do veggies. They only do, uh, oh, they, and no, but they have, chicken. they have fruits. This is local pastures and they teamed up like oh, with Creek, other, with other Oh. vendors at uh, the farmer's market but this is they only specialize yeah. in eggs and oh poultry. i got it i got it mixed up i was thinking this was this but yeah you're right i forgot so this is this is basically like farmer's market brick and mortar all right let's go get some shit seven days a week oh nice okay <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Smoked chicken salad. Can I start stacking some stuff here? Oh, sure. Oh, sorry. Random question, do you know, does, um, does the farm allow, like, people to see the farm um i mean i think so yeah like i think if you reach out to them they they do tour not like official yeah but yeah like, but like if you want it oh that's super cool yeah you should it's so beautiful yeah like, yeah yeah it is i like i've lived on lots of farms and it's one of the most beautiful farms like i've ever been to love it awesome well thank you so much yeah, bye you too Well, that was cool. By the way, a trick to having success as a relationship is balance, switching off. No. So. Passenger princess always. She dri drove us here, now I'm driving us home. No. Yes. No. Yes. Better. You did drive us here, though. No, that wasn't me. Who was it? That was the other me. Teddy, you'll bark, you alarm dog. Hey, Coda. Coda. I thought you are supposed to be the alarm dog, Coda. All right, just got home. The question now is, first meal of the day, do I do chicken salad? Do I do eggs? Do I do oatmeal with banana? What are you having, boo? Egg toast. There's also egg toast that 
my boo will cook for me. Yeah, right. Come on! You were mean to me. No, I wasn't. Prove it. I don't think you deserve eggs right now. I'll get her to make me eggs. Okay, so I'm starting the day with a piece of toast with some organic chicken salad. Mix, I mixed in um, some sriracha, frying two eggs. I'm gonna throw those on top of this bad boy and just have a protein filled breakfast. Let's go. So there's no way of uh, vlogging a day in the life without some film time. We film every day. It's what we do and wouldn't complain. Sorry, boo, I know I'm in your way. I just think this is kind of a cool shot. Sorry. What are we watching? Oh, one piece of... All right, let's go. All right, y'all just got done filming and now I am going to, let me just show you. I got a bunch of dishes that I need to clean so that when Michelle gets back from her errand, we are going to, we're gonna cook. Uh, we're cooking because, as I mentioned this morning, we are going to my brother's to meet my nephew Kai for the very first time. Super pumped about that. I just ate, as soon as we got done filming, I ate some tuna and crackers. I'm probably gonna make a protein shake right now. I'm gonna do some dishes, and then Michelle's gonna get here. We're gonna cook, we're cooking pasta, meat, zucchini chips, and then we're gonna also do some banana, chocolate protein banana bread. So it's not the most healthy, all carbs, a lot of carbs. However, all from scratch ingredients, um, no added like sugars and oils and all that type of stuff. So it should be fun, should be cool. We haven't seen them in a while since before we went to Europe. So, all right, now let's get started on this kitchen. And were able to obtain footage from the exact time that Sam's card was being used. However, the person using the ATM wasn't Sam at all. It was a younger man, possibly a teenager. The card had also been used at a pizza place, and detectives decided to collect his DNA in order to eliminate him from the crime scene. Yeah, I don't. DNA doesn't just fall off. I don't know. I didn't touch her. I didn't do anything. All right, kitchen is clean. Look at that. Ready to do some cooking. That's clean, by the way. But, yo, I wanted to show you this real quick. I, as you guys maybe have seen, I have a, I got a new bike and I am, I'm honestly in love with biking. I'm biking every single morning. That is how I'm doing my 45 minute workout till I'm getting my cardio in. I just enjoy it so much more than I think I might have ever enjoyed running, to be honest. Sorry to all my runners out there. There's this bike mount that comes with this phone case and it works so dope. Look at this. I put the phone case on. This obviously just hooks, it's gonna hook right on the front of my handlebars. It'll just sit there. And then there's this clasp that you hold and it clasps in. And on the back here, there's this little hole here. So literally you hold this, it magnet, magnet, boom. Let go of the clamp, oops, boom. And it's, it's just stuck like, so boom, it just sits there, it's stuck in place. So I'll be able to get my, tr like my, uh, my maps up, I'll be able to be tracking calories, time, where I'm going. Uh, I, I've been using Strava recently, but anyways, just wanna show you, cause I'm super pumped. I literally feel like a kid at Christmas with my bike and all kind of like this new accessory and gadget, but okay. That's it, Michelle's gonna come home soon. We're gonna cook a little bit, so see you in a bit. So let the cooking begin. Mama Bear, what are we making? Mama. Mama! Ooh. Uh, I'm making meatballs uh, and zucchini bites and ricotini pasta with tomato sauce, spicy, spicy vodka sauce. Let's go, let's go. She's in her element, so I'm gonna get the camera out of her face. As soon as I turn this off, she's gonna hit me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I need to just vlog to make sure it shows that I'm contributing. All right, my job's done. I would just like to go ahead and document that this might be the best shredded zucchini that anyone's ever done. There's something funny over there? 
really good. This is, I mean, this took me, a, this was like, I had a, I read a book. I watched about an hour long video on how to do this. This took time. How do you use those in machine? This took time, dedication, cool. effort. Yeah, we all use tools, okay? We're humans. We're supposed to use tools, but it's the effort that I put in. It's the mentality, the sacrifice, the blood, sweat, and the tears, the equity of it all. It's the decades I've lived on this earth that brought me to this point to shred the zucchini. You know, this is, this is what pisses me off about society today. Here we go. Is, you know, an artist can practice and practice and practice, and when they're 50 years old, they paint one picture, and that picture sells for $10 million. And the picture only took them an hour. And people start getting mad. They're like, what the hell? $10 million for an hour worth of work? No! It's the 40 years of practice that went into it. And you look at this zucchini. I've been practicing my zucchini shredding skills at night when you're asleep. You may not believe me, but this is my life's greatest work. Okay, slight change of plans, you guys. We have about an hour of downtime. The lighting is terrible before, while the food cooks, before we go to my brother's. So I'm actually gonna just work out right now. It's 5.15. So I'm gonna hit this, uh, this kettlebell workout here in the garage. It's definitely been more than three or four hours since I went riding at like 7.30. So day one, because I failed, uh, <laughs> over the weekend, day one is off to a great start. So let's get this workout in. Oh, okay. Okay. Afternoon workout. No. All right, fuck that. I'm counting this. This is 44 minutes and 56 seconds. Dude, four seconds is fine. I mean, all over. I'll go work. I'm gonna go. You know what? Fuck this. Boom, baby. All right, we good. That was two seconds. You said that was two seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy says I'm done. All right. Show y'all the receipts. The thing that I need to get better at understanding, it says max heart rate was 149 beats per minute, and the average was 109 beats per minute. I don't, I'll be honest, I don't know what my resting heart rate is, and I, I also don't know, like, what my, I think resting heartbeat is not, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't fucking know, but I wanna figure that out so that I can understand what's like a good beat per minute during a workout, during a ride. I should really get on top of that, but all right. Done with that, boo, how we looking with food? You want me to try something you said it might be, you think it might be too spicy? Maybe, yeah. Uh, I uh, think Brandon and Dab like spice. Yeah, hopefully their mom likes spice. Too. Yeah. Ooh! Ah. <laughs> I have no idea what that looked like. Mm. Huh? Oh. There's a kick. But it's like a good kick. It's not too much. Yeah. It's, it's not too much at all. Slow kick. Damn. But when you add like the cheese and everything, it's fine. Damn, that's bomb. All right, you guys, I gotta go uh, shower and get ready real quick because we're gonna leave here in probably the next like 15 ish minutes. Oh. Oh, sorry. You'll bring the cake? Yeah, I'll bring the cake. Okay. It's time to go meet my nephew. And I gotta bring my water, of course. Oh. All right, we got the cake, pasta, water. Teddy? Hi, are you ready to meet your nephew? Yes? Wait, I guess maybe cousin, I don't know. Cousin. All right, let's go. Holy crap, we're here to meet my little nephew Kai, the heir to the throne. All hell. Literally the legacy Long of- Long live the king. The legacy of this guy and me all goes to Kai at this moment. Teddy, come on. Teddy, come on. Biscuit, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's your Hold first on. time ever. Come on. Dude. That's 
wash my hands. Oh yeah, you can oh, yeah, wash, wash your hands. hands. Okay, okay, let me wash my hands. <laughs> he's tiny! I know, he's so small. I've never seen a human this small. I literally, I don't think I've ever <laughs> had seen a baby this small. Yeah. <laughs> they just hit their heads on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's crazy! I know. Isn't he adorable? He's, He's so, so cute. cute. He's so perfect, man. <laughs> this is... He's so cute. I can feel his little knees. That's his knee, right? Dude, I want you guys to see his little feet. His little hands and feet are so cute. They're definitely Brandon's feet. Oh my god, I can feel his knees. Dude, he has her feet. It's crazy to see. He does. His little toes. Dude, the nose. It's cute how he'll just sleep when you hold him too. Dude, oh, this is like the awesome. best, little homie. <laughs> oh, little oh, baby. Dude, I can't believe you're carrying him in your tummy. I know. That's the craziest thing, actually. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, God. He's a little too tight. Right there. there. He's so cute. I want you guys to hold him with, Teddy, without the swaddle. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Teddy? Oh, he cousin. just farted. Look at those little Smeagol arms. Was that a fart? That was a fart. No, that is like an adult fart. Yeah. <laughs> dude, his feet are his little toesies are long. He's, oh, he dude, long he's gonna be tall, huh? He's gonna yeah, be really he big. Dude, that was a that was like an adult fart, dude. Oh, he's doing well. <laughs> oh, get he's like you? he's like oh, you think that's all I got? <laughs> Kai's first poopy on his <laughs> uncle Ronnie. <laughs> I felt it. It was in my hand. I was like holding it. He's going in here. Your armpit. Oh, he might be looking to to get the nip. Oh, oh. You, give me the pacifier. Oh, he wants, he wants I'll give I'll give him a nip. I'll give him a nip. No, I meant like milk nip, but no, okay. He doesn't want that. He might. He might. He's He's asleep on you, man. He's like snoring. He's like, this is the good stuff. He'll do that and then just pass out. <laughs> he, there's such thing as milk drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they get milk drunk? Yeah. Dude, he'll he'll drink it and then he'll just be like... <laughs> like a like after a late night out. I'm so happy to finally have I know, me too. Gosh, and now he knows our energy, my voice. Oh, biscuit? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, okay. have a good night. Bye, Kai. See you Sunday, potentially, yeah. if not Wednesday. Yeah. All right. Okay. See you guys. Have a good night. All right. Get some. Guys. Hopefully, you guys get good sleep. We will. Oh, Mr. Teddy. Crazy. I love Kai so much. Dude, Kai is so cute. <laughs> He's so cute and like spending time. Uh, yeah. He was asleep basically the whole time we were there, but. It makes me excited for like having our own. Whoa. <laughs> or were you gonna say when he's older? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, I. I the... <laughs> uh, let's cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am excited to have our own, but I was just thinking like who he's going to become and like I know. us being in his life. And I don't know, it's just like so many memories to be made. So yeah. this will be fun. All right, gonna drive home and. Uh, I'll probably wrap the vlog up there, so, all right. All right, I'm about to end the vlog here. I got just a tiny bit of work that I have to do, but I, yeah, just a, a great way to end the night, spending time with Dav and Brandon. Dav's mom was there and then meeting baby Kai just puts into perspective for me like how important family is and like Brandon and I didn't have a healthy relationship with our family growing up and so it's really cool to think that we have an opportunity now with 
kind of this next generation of ours, his kids and, you know, in the future, potentially our kids, to change the path, to change kind of the Jackson name. I mean, we already have, but before Brandon and I, when I think about my my mom and, you know, my dad's still here, so less on him because he's now like in our life, but just kind of histor- historically you think about that side of my family and and Jackson ironically comes from my mom's side and for those that don't know the story my mom um, she is still alive I just haven't talked to her in a couple years now she lives in Northern California but she's um, still dealing with she's an alcoholic and so she's kind of in and out of either rehabs or prisons or on the streets and um, and so it's yeah it's just an unhealthy relationship but and I never kind of blame her she was 17 when she got pregnant with Brandon and I she dropped out of middle school her mom dropped out of middle school or high school and ran away when she was like 14 my mom ran away when she was 13 and like lived on the streets until she was in her teenage years and then met my dad at a party or like partying or whatever it was so you know just historically like the generations of the Jackson name the Jackson family has come from kind of a you know an unfortunate broken upbringing and like the patterns and so it's just so cool to sit here and think about the opportunity that Brandon has that I have for our kids and like what they're going to think about or say when they're talking or discussing or remembering or reflecting on their parents, us. And then they have kids and it's like, you know, hopefully there's, they jump on here and on YouTube and they watch this video. How crazy is that? They'll be able to watch this video. So what is up to my future grandkids, great grandkids, my future son? It's crazy to think it's, 2024 right now it's July it's July and you might be watching this and right now I am trying to build a life and build a future for you guys and so hopefully you guys are reaping the benefits to that all of you watching it's crazy it's so cool this is literally a a vlog a, a, a diary entry for you so all right i'm not gonna rant too much more but just a lot of reflection meeting my twin brother's baby for the first time yeah it's crazy all right well i'm gonna close the vlog here day two of 75 hard tomorrow back to the grind um so appreciate y'all and that's it check out my community post um I talk about a couple things regarding my title, if you're at all curious about it. My thoughts on that is over there, but appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for 5,000 of you who like my content enough to hit subscribe. I promise I will do everything I can to keep making content that is worst case entertaining, best case impactful and motivational, inspirational while being entertaining. Maybe you'll get you also get some laughs in there as well. So it's a good balance of shit. So, all right. More than anything though, I want to show other people that it can be done. I like this life that I've created, you know, I wish I was vlogging everything until now to like, how did I get here? But all I can do now is share. And I'll, if you have any questions, ask me, but share basically how I got here and now document how I'm going to get to the next phase Um, because you know at one point I was in a group home one point I was didn't I was working at a pizza a pizza spot and going to a community college and I didn't know what I was going to do with my life so yeah you know you can make no matter what no matter where you're at you can make something of yourself get to where you want to get to so and I hope to keep pushing that message because I know I know we can because I have first-hand experience. And I also know some people have different situations, harder situations, more challenges that people face. 
but it can be done. And I know you can, if you're watching this, you gotta believe you can, and I know you can. I know you can, there's, there's people that went from homeless to billionaire, like there is. So yeah, I know we all can, we all can make it work. So let's make, keep making progress. Talk to you guys soon, peace.